Hello everyone, welcome to JLo. You know, according to statistics, conflicts between couples are going up due to this pandemic for various reasons. One, siempre mas madalas silang magkasama ngayon sa bahay, di ba? Number two, economic reasons. Ang gastos po ay nagpapatuloy, pero yung revenue, yung kita po ay nababawasan. But you know what? It's not the absence of conflicts that make a relationship healthy. It's the way you manage it. How do you handle conflicts? At yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayong araw na ito. At makakasama po natin ang ating kaibigan. She's a registered guidance counselor and has been counseling for more than 29 years. She got her doctorate degree in marriage and family counseling at the Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary in USA. And she is happily married to Hans Chua, her first and last boyfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my good friend, of course, siyempre, si Dr. AJ Chua. Yes. Doc AJ, how are yes, you? Yes, good afternoon. Yes. I'm Inang, fine. Thank you very pang- much. Nag-iba na yung pangalan mo. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga eh. Oh, Para pero i-clarify clarify natin bakit AJ. Oh. Ah, okay. Kasi yung AJ, uh, that's one of my nickname. It stands for Ate Jeanette or Ate Jeanette. Yes, yeah, so Ati now that uh, we've started a new YouTube channel, uh, mm-hmm. yun ang ginam- ginamit namin para ma-shortcut. Yes, yes. Congratulations nga pala sa'yo sa, sa channel mo, ha? Congratulations. Yes, thank you po. Oo, ang dami nang nanonood. <laughs> so, thank you ngayon, po. Oo, ngayon. So, tawag ko ngayon sa'yo, Doc AJ na, ha? Oo. Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, kaya kita inimbitahan ngayon kasi nga, sabi ko nga kanina, yung conflict with among couples, eh, tumataas mm-hmm. dito sa pandemic na to, no, for mm-hmm. different reasons. So, I would like to ask you, so discuss natin ngayon, kasi sabi nga nila, conflicts are inevitable. Hindi naman may iniwasan yes. yun eh, hindi ba? Tama, so, walang perfect natin, marriage. Yes. So, paano natin siya ma-handle or mamamanage? No? So, ito yung ating uh, kumaga sa ano, title today. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Conflict management for couples. Uh, mm-hmm. Di ba? <laughs> yeah, okay. maganda yan. Yes, so ito, simulan natin. Ito yung ating, uh, tawag dito, sandali ah, tanggalin ko lang yan. Yan, ito yung ating slide, conflict management. So, pa- ano ba ibig sabihin ng conflict management, Dok? Okay, uh, sabi nga natin, it's very inevitable that every couple na nag-aaway. But ang importante is, how do we handle it at paano natin ma-improve na hopefully habang tumatagal, uh, kumukunti yung conflict. Okay, it lessens and of course, hopefully, it won't in- keep on intensifying. That's okay. why we're having this topic. We hope that uh, it could help a lot of couples handle their conflicts um, in a healthier way. Okay, so simulan na natin, Doc, ha? So ito, okay. why couples fight? Yeah, ang gandang question yan. <laughs> Oo nga, at ang dami-daming reasons. Okay, so ito, ano sa ito? Division of household, tama? Yes, sometimes sa pag-aawayan rin yan because... Siyempre, like right now, hindi lahat ng tao may kasambahay. So, everybody has uh, some chores to do. Mm-hmm. But, of course, uh, if the other spouse feels na mas marami akong ginagawa or parang ito, mas konti, feeling ko mas tamad, ay, pinag-aawayan yan. And then, <laughs> the next one is in terms of spending habits. Like, uh, siyempre, ngayon, hindi tayo nakaka-shopping because of the lockdown, but uh, pwede ka naman mag-order online. So, some mm-hmm. people, mas matipid. Some people, mas magastos ay napag-aawayan rin po yan. Mm-hmm. Tama. No? Uh, puro away. So, mm-hmm. ito pa, oh, feel and love. Yes, tingnan mo yung picture na yan. Uh, let's say, uh, yung, yung husband niya, tuwan-tuwa, gusto siyang ihal. Pero, aba, hindi siya pinansin kasi nanunod siya ng telenovela, ang ganda-ganda. So, feel in, and love siya. So, nabibwisit na siya minsan. Mm-hmm. And thinking negatively also causes a lot of fights. Okay, tingnan natin yung next picture. Mm-hmm. Yan. Kunyari, aba, may kausap si husband. Nasa loob ng uh, wife, naku, baka may... May kabit, may ibang babae. Yung pala sabi ng the husband, nanay ko, tumawag. Ayan, because of thinking negatively yun. Mm-hmm. Minsan, tamang duda ang tawag dun eh, di ba? Mm. Duda ka ng duda, wala pa pala. Yes. Yun, okay. So, nagiging dahilan pala yun ng away, no? It's my mom. Yes. Sabi. Mm-hmm. Okay, so ito, ano to do? The personality differences, parang kunyari, one of them is an introvert, yung isa extrovert. Uh, Siyempre, nung nai-in love, we always say that opposites attract. Wow, ang tahitahimik niya. A very good listener. Ako, dal 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 ko. Di ang saya-saya. Ang problema sa katagalan, uh, what you think is a strength, naging weakness. Kunyari, sabi mo, ha? Huh? Ang tahimik-tahimik naman niya. Boring naman siyang kasama. Tapos sabi naman ng kabila, 
ang ingay-ingay naman niya, nager, ang ingay-ingay. So sometimes, the personality differences becomes a point of contention. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So talagang kumaga sa ano, hindi din maiiwasan yun. Kaya parang, mm. parang as, you, as you spend more time together, mas marami kang madidiscover, parang ganyan. Yes. Ah, okay yun ah. Okay, tapos, personality differences, ayan, yeah. in-laws. Ayan, ang dami pa. In-laws, pag-awayan, barkada, ibig sabihin, if one of them... Uh, Usually, this pertains to guys. Mas maraming barkada eh. Siyempre, may mga night out sila. Mm. Uh, yun, sometimes uh, napag-aawayan because too many nights out with the guys. Raising kids, the way you want to raise your kids, minsan parang iba yung pamamaraan mo, napag-aawayan. Or one of them is super busy with work, with career, ay napag-aawayan din yan. Uh, ito, siyempre, pinaka infidelity. Siyempre, pag may ibang uh, may kabit, whether it's the husband or the wife na may, uh, may kabit, uh, malaking awa yan. Mm-hmm. So marami talagang factors no at mm-hmm. ano reasons hindi ba? So yes, ayan, sir. how to fight fairly. Yan yes. ang tanong din yan, no? Mm-hmm. So paano ba talaga? So ito. Okay, here are some tips. Mm-hmm. So of course there's no perfect marriage. Sa amin din nag-aaway rin kami, but it's how you handle it. And alam mo ba, the Bible says that in your anger do not sin. Mm-hmm. Do not get too angry. Ibig mm-hmm. sabihin, ah uh, parang it's possible that when you're angry, you do not sin. Okay, pwede yan. It's how you handle anger as an emotion. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, so you just sin. take on, please. Yes. Yan. Kasi anger is a secondary emotion. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pangalawang emotion, pero ito yung nakikita natin. But usually, bakit nagagalit yung spouse? Kasi na-hurt siya. So mm-hmm. dahil na-hurt siya, nagagalit na siya. At yun ang nakikita nung kabila. Okay, okay. So in other words, you have to be, kung ako yung partner, I have hmm. to be sensitive, no? Kalit yes. na pala. <laughs> Oo, at baka <laughs> na-hurt ko siya, yun. Iisip mo, baka na-hurt ko siya, kaya siya nagagalit, yun. Right, right. Okay, so? Here are not... some tips on how to fight fairly, okay? Di ba hmm. sabi mo nga, don't engage in silent treatment. Yung parang, sige, hindi ko siya papansinin. Baka mo, hmm. parang, wala, cold war. But that doesn't hmm. solve the problem. Nandiyan pa rin eh. Or sometimes mm-hmm. we sweep it under the rug, okay? Parang, oh, thinking that, siguro, no, pag wag natin pag-usapan, mawawala rin yung mag-isa. Ang problema, hindi. One day, patong-patong, eh, mag-e-explode yan. May and ipon. Mag-ihirap na natin ayusin, oo. May ipon, tapos sasabog na lang. Hmm, yes. Tapos madaling mo sa asawa mo na, 10 years na kitang tinitiis, ha? Ganun, ganun, ganun. Aha, tapos 10 years na pala. Kasi hindi na napag-usapan yun. <laughs> tama yun, tama yun. Tsaka ano yan, uh, Doc, napapansin ko, Pag hindi hmm. nag-uusap yung silent treatment, pride. Di ba? Yes. Oo nga. Kasama yung pride, parang sige, tingnan natin kung sino unang susuko sa atin. Tama. Parang ganun Yan. ba? Yes. Diba? So, ito, ito, ito. Yan. Na, yung, yung huli. Ano yun? Yun nga, let's Ayan. discuss. Yan ang tama. Yes. Dapat parang hindi silent treatment or you sweep it under the rug, but pag-usapan natin. Kasi mm-hmm. there are things na talagang kailangan pag-usapan para maayos. E paano, kung, paano, Dok, kung yung isa hindi pa ready? Okay. Then we wait. Ibig sabihin, syempre, hindi mo pwede mag-wait ng three years. <laughs> Sobrang tagal na yun. <laughs> you can agree na, okay, pwede niya sabihin na, oh, I'm not yet ready, but uh, uh, pwede ko yan one week. Eh, pero yung may tao naman na gusto niya, kagad. So, maybe they can compromise. Uh, can we talk after right, two days? Okay. Kaya mo ba? Or something like that. So, at least, uh, we, we try to meet each other halfway. Pero talagang mm. kailangan pag-usapan. Kasi galit na yung isa eh. Mm-hmm. Or, so the magic, or the magic word nga dito is compromise. No, You agree yeah. on a certain day or time na pwede na kayo mag-usap, di ba? Mm, tama po. Kasi minsan, minsan kasi Doc, nasa ano, ako, ano yan, gravity ng ano, yung minsan yung away. Kung, but minsan mm. kasi sa akin parang okay lang, pero dun sa partner ko, eh sobra pa lang. Mm. It means a lot to her, no? Yes, tama so, po. So, kailangan talagang maging ano. Okay, ito, don't walk out. Ay, totoo yan. <laughs> yes, di ba? <laughs> Misa sa buwisit mo, parang sabi nung, parang dito, I cannot stay in this room with you any longer. Walk out siya. Siyempre, yes. lalong naiinis at na-hurt yung kabila. Yes. Kasi bigla ka na-walk out eh. It's a sign of disrespect. Totoo and we yan. have to respect each other. Yun. Tama Tapos, yan. Mo naman to, dapat ito yung tama. Na parang, okay, I do not want to talk about it right now. Okay, kasi baka magsabog lang tayo. Give me time to be alone. Tapos pag-usapan nila na, yun na nga, how long? Tapos there are some people, pag galit sila, they need time to be alone. Okay? Mm-hmm. They need time out, space. Pero may mm-hmm. mga tao naman, gusto nila na inaamo-amo mo siya. Huwag nang magaga. 
kaagad ay yung, huwag ka na magkalit, sige na, sorry na, yon. So it will depend on which the partner wants. So you have to know uh, what your partner wants when you're angry para uh, you can do what he or she needs. Mm. So in other words, you have to learn how to pacify your partner. Yes, tama. Tama yan. Alam mo, nasubukan ko yan, Dok, eh. Iniwan ako. Sige nga, Malis. sige. Inis na inis ako. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, ano sa ginawa mo? Ganun, ha? <laughs> Ay, wala. Gabi na rin ako umuwi. O, di ba? Mm. Ah, iniwan mo ako, ha? O, sige. Late na ako uuwi. But, alam mo yun, yung parang, yes. yung nasabi ko nga, parang nagmamatigasan na, umabot mm. na na doon, di ba? Tama. Pero, tama ka dyan. Pero, so, in other words, ang sinasabi mo, parang, you can do it, but you say it nicely. Parang ganyan. Yes, yes. Okay. You don't walk out, nagpaalam ka. Iba yung walk out, eh. Kasi minsan, tama. yung umalis ka lang. Ayun. Pero nagpaalam, okay, mamaya tayo mag-usap, pwede. Kasi may ibang tao, they, they want na pag-usapan niya, tapos iniwan mo sa ere. But if you mm. say, you're gonna come back, we'll talk about it later, ah, okay lang. Okay, okay. At least, at least nagpaalam. As permission. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, ito. Don't engage in aggressive behavior. Oo. Kasi yun naman, uh, that's what we call, di ba, parang minsan nag escalate nga. Like, kunyari, sometimes when you get angry, you shout, nagmumura ka, parang you belittle each other. Tapos, syempre, may verbal abuse na, dumada, parang paggrabe ng paggrabe yung sinasabi mo. Tapos sometimes it also, um, uh, please do not ever raise your fist. Okay, don't raise your voice. Kasi nga, uh, mag-escalate yung kabila. Okay? Ah, Tapos may so, mga pati, tips pa ako dyan. Hmm. Pati raise ng fist, bawal ah. ah Siyempre, lalo na yun, bawal yan. Okay? Oh. And remember, words can linger in our minds and hurt us. Kunyari, nagbati na kayo. but sinabi mo sa kaya? Sana, hindi na kita pinakasalan. My friends, kapag uh, nadadown na yung kabila, ito yung magre-replace sa mind na nila. So it mm-hmm. really hurts. Tama, tama yun. Diffuse And the we can, anger, yes, anger. Diffuse. Dapat with gentleness. Kasi imagine mo, pag yung isa kuminahon, syempre yung isa, uh, hindi na siya lalong sisigaw kasi medyo, huma, medyo mahimlahon na yung sagot mo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tama yun. So, pero alam mo, Dok, pag nag-aaway, parang ayaw, ano, ayaw, parang, ayaw, yung, ayaw mauna. <laughs> Yeah, ayo patalo, di ba? Yes, Which usually, that's how we are. Yes, yes. Ito, sa Ephesians 4.29. Yes. Sabi mm-hmm. na dito, di ba? Do not let any unwholesome talk come out from your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, so that it may benefit those who listen. So kung mawalang ka kwenta-kwentang salita, huwag na natin pag-usapan. Huwag mm-hmm. na natin sabihin, kasi nakaka-hurt lang sila. Tama, tama. Okay, so ito naman. Nako, ito, ano to, Dok? Kawawa nga eh. So I hope that uh, your fights will, won't um, escalate to this. Kaya nga sabi ko, this is body sites and this is really true, okay? This happened, she's only 29. Nung last October 2019, yun, nabubog siya sobra ng asawa niya. Tapos na-hospitalize pa siya. So ang kawawa, di ba? Parang, uh, syempre, you will be sued, okay? Meron natin yung na domestic violence, pwede yung kaso. Pero na mo, we love each other. That's why we get married. And we don't want our marriage to end up like this. So yes. please... Okay, do not raise your fist, scratch, slap, punch, throw things, yung mga nagtatap- nagkakagisa ng mga plato, huwag naman. Lalo na, mahal-mahal ngayon, di ba? Nagkakaproblema tayo ng financial problem, tapos magsasayang ka pa. So please avoid this, okay? These okay. things. Okay, tapos kids might become bullies. Oo nga, Oo. no? Kasi yung nakita nila, na, ah, ganun pala mag-away yung mga yung parents ko. So minsan, nag- talagang nam- nakikita eh, ginagaya nila. Mm-hmm. And of course, it will be a vicious cycle. Parang, if you say abuse, parang there will be a problem, that's a tension building, tapos mag-explode yung isa. Tapos, mm-hmm. siyempre, yung abuser, kagawin niya, liligawan ka ulit. Like, kunyari, kung sasabihin niya, oh, hindi, parang sorry na, tapos bigyan ka ng flowers, bigyan ka ng gifts, or whatever. Tapos, kala mm-hmm. mo, okay na. Ayun pala. Ayun. Until the next fight, ganun na naman. So, paulit that, Oo, paulit-ulit. That's why uh, they would need counseling para ma-overcome. Ma-overcome yes. naman yun. Yes, at saka ano, alam mo doc yung yung pag yung pag-aamo mo, hindi na mag-work hmm. kung ipaulit-ulit. Hindi oh. na mag-work 'yan. Galing ko Tama. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Pero, syempre, pag ganoon na yung case, medyo malala na, I would kunyari like Molly, if Molly came to me for counseling, I would suggest tem- temporary separation. Kasi baka hmm. mapatay na siya o anak niya. Take note ha, my hmm. goal okay, is ultimately reconciliation if the other party magbabago. So, mm-hmm. dapat temporary muna, hiwalay muna sila ng tirahan. That's the point. I'm not opting for divorce or annulment, but I'm saying that uh, it's we have to get her safe first and the kids, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Ako syempre, pag nag-undergo na sila ng counseling, of course, the guy or the girl, whoever has the anger management problem, uh, they should undergo counseling uh, individually. Tapos, after that, yung as a couple, kailangan nila. Mm -hmm. Tapos, syempre nga, uh, for protection, sometimes you even need to get an RTO, a restraining order, or yung iba, pinapablatter talaga nila. Para hopefully, pag, matakot na hindi na siya mag-escalate. Tsaka lalo na pag pinagpatuloy pa, hindi ba? Mm, oh, yes. doc, doc, based sa experience mo ba, like for example, sa, ito sabi nila, no, yung first time daw is always the hardest. Yung, pinak, yung una mong sinaktan ang iyong partner, yun daw ang pinakamahirap. Pero pag nasimulan mo daw yan, mas, mag, mas magiging mabilis na yung second, third, fourth. Do you agree to that? Yeah, kasi normally, uh, pag first, syempre, you feel guilty pa eh, first time. Parang, ah, yes. parang magigilty ka pa, tapos naalala mo na, ay, how, I'm, how much I love my wife or my husband, but sa katagalan, namamanhit kasi tayo eh. Mm -hmm. yung, pati yung konsensya natin, it mm -hmm. gets cal calyous kasi. Tama. You so, napapadalas na, ano, parang habit yes. na, di ba? Oh, parang Or normal na. Back, oh. di ba? Oo, oh, oh, oh. kaya that's very sad. Alam ko rin yung parati ako nasasampal eh. <laughs> Kunyari ka pa. <laughs> ako, pa ako, ako pala yung nasasaktan. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yung next natin, Doc, ito, ano to? Okay. Tingnan mo, ha. Ah. Ah, you just have to click on, my friend. Mm -hmm. Click on one more time. Tingnan mo. Nagsusumbungan. Like, sabi nito mabae, Mom, he's late again and won't give me his phone to look at. Tapos sabi naman, she's getting on my nerves. Nagsusumbungan sila. But my friends, pag magsusumbung tayo, syempre totoo, we need an outlet. Galit tayo, eh. But yes. please, don't tell your own family members. Kasi, let's say, ako, nagsumbong ako sa tatay-nanay ko, mas kibati na kami ni Hans, magagalit pa rin sila sa kanya. So, dapat, sa mata ng parents ko, si Hans, uh, parating good boy lang siya. So, I, we can tell others, but I choose to tell my trusted friends. And please don't, if you have kids, do not tell your kids about your fights. Kasi na-stress yung mga bata because they, they are caught in between eh. And sometimes, saka ka, kunyari, if I have a kid, tapos... Um, naglalabas ako sa manang loob, eventually, syempre, mainis siya sa tatay niya. Yun. So, you can talk to trusted friends. Kasi, kunyari, if I talk to a friend, ah, nakakainis siya, pag nakita ko na si Hans, kalmado na ako. <laughs> okay na ako. Kasi, may sabi ng friends ko, huwag mo naman awayin, yeah, mabait naman si Hans, yung mga ganun. So, that's the role of friends, that they can calm us down, and they, hindi naman tayo i-chismis. Parang, oh my God, you just feel validated. Yun lang. And sometimes, they also give us advice kung ako may mali. So, sabihin nila, so, sabihin naman nila na ako naman may mali. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero doc, madalas, di ba, lalo na sa, sa, sa wife, no? If let's say, mm -hmm. for example, talaga nagkaroon ng malaking away, most mm -hmm. of the time, they really call their mom. So sinasabi mo ngayon, as much as possible, huwag yon, Huwag ganon. Huwag talaga. Uh -huh. Kasi mag mababad siya talaga yung asawa mo, eh. Yeah. And mas ibatik na kayo, galit pa rin parents mo kasi naalala, ikaw, ah, inaapi mo yung anak ko, ah, yung ganon. Mm -hmm. So better na. Even so yung mga siblings mo. So magkakaroon ng parang strain sa relationship nila, no? Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, tama, tama. So, wag din sa mga anak. So, mas mabuti pa sa kaibigan na lang. Ang ganun. Mm -mm. Yes. Yung trusted, ha? Hindi yung, hindi yung chismosong kaibigan. <laughs> Oo, oh, baka hindi lahat, ha? And please do not run on social media. Kasi Ay, when oh. social media, ma parang mapapahiya asawa mo, eh. Pa paano mm -hmm. mo, how would you know who read it? They say, nag-sorry ka na, bati na kayo. But people have a bad impression of your spouse. Sayang naman. So, you just so, so, tell a few. A few uh, trusted friends. So in other words, correct me if I'm wrong. Ang sinasabi mo dito is you protect the reputation of each of each each other. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. So the people will still respect your spouse. Total, alam naman ng lahat na wala mang perfect na na spouse or marriage. Tama, tama. Okay. Sige. Eto do. Okay. Ice statements. Yes. Pag nagaaway na, okay. Mm. Tingnan mo yung first picture. Sabi mo, you, you always ruin everything. So, biniblame mo siya. So, mm -hmm. tendency, maging defensive yung kausap mo. Kasi mm -hmm. you statement ang ginamit mo. Pero pag sinabi mo, when you do something like this, it hurts me. So, nagsasabi na ako ng feelings ko, mas hindi nagagalit yung kabila. Tingnan mo yung picture. Yung isa, galit na yung husband. Yung isa, uh -huh. medyo kalmado pa siya. Kasi parang, ay, na-hurt ko pala asawa ko. Na hindi uh -huh. mo siya biniblame. So, do not attack each other. And please, do not avoid using never or always. Parati ka naman ganyan. Eh, hindi naman siya parating ganyan. Maybe most of the time, pero hindi parate. Or oh, you never uh, remember anniversary. Sasabi niya, ngayon ko lang nga forget eh. Oh, so mm. you don't use never and always. Ah, okay. Pero parang mahirap to gawin. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, it takes practice. Oo It's nga. not easy, but it takes practice. Na lalabas na, I felt, kanari ah, I felt bad when you forgot our anniversary. Mm -hmm. Ayun, gano'n, di ba? Para at least nasabi ko yung, na-hurt na ako. 
Pero hindi yun kasi pag kinimkim ko naman, ako naman mahirapan, di ba? E pag sinabi mo, ikaw ang hangkwen ng asawa, pati anniversary, nakakalim, ang gagalit yung husband or yung yes. house. Ay lalo siyang magre-rebelde or lalo siyang, sige ha, awayin mo ko. Next year, kakalimutan ko ulit. O, oh, din wala, wala mangyayari, di ba? Awayan lang yan. So dapat talaga, going back to what you said a while ago, yung gentleness, yung magandang pagsabi, no? Mm-hmm. O, so, so, tulad ako, ang gagawin ko, ano mo, pag nakalimutan ng asawa ko yung anniversary, ang gagawin ko, maghahanda ako ng pagkain. O, di ba? Wow, very good. Pro o, bakit ka naghahanda? Ah, kasi anniversary natin. O, di ba? <laughs> Tama yan. O, oh, that's <laughs> a better way of handling it. Tama. Instead of na magagalit ka. Yes, yes, yes. Di ba? So, ito pa, ito pa. O, yan. Okay, ay, next pa, sir. Next. Yes, next, next, next natin. Tama. Ito, yan. Ayan, tingnan mo ha. Yung mali, sabi niya, I'm calling. You're not picking up. Hindi ka sumasagot. You don't mm. respect me at all. Mm. Ah, dapat sabi mo na lang na, ah, kasi worried nga ako. Pag hindi mo sinasagot yung phone calls ko, nag-worried ako. Oh, so, yun, at least yung kanina, sinasermonan, kaya mamalungkot yung asawa niya. So, please Tama. be specific. When you say I statement, para sabi mo na, ah, ano gusto mong sabihin? Ano ba yung talagang issue? And then mm. you share why you got hurt or why you got angry. Mm-hmm. Specific situation. Huwag yung sabihin mo, ikaw kasi tamad-tamad mo eh. How would he know or she know? Tapos, mm-hmm. apologize immediately. Kung ako naman may mali, then you just apologize. Or kunyari, um, yung asawa ko, sinabihan ko, the best way to diffuse any um, argument is just to say sorry. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do not offer a solution or parang an explanation. Kasi mm-hmm. minsan, pag nag-explain pa na, eh, kasi, kunyari, pag sinabi ko, oh, ba't hindi ka man lang nag-text? Sasabihin, eh, kasi traffic, eh, kasi busy ako. For me, those are excuses. Kasi, mm-hmm. di ba, parang it just takes 30 seconds or one minute to text, eh. Di ba? So, it's mm-hmm. just an excuse. Then you just say, I'm sorry, I forgot. Adi, okay na, mas, mas, hindi ka magagalit. Kaysa mm-hmm. maglalabas pa sa na excuse, eh, ang daming beses na nangyari. Yun. Mm-hmm. Eh, kasi, di ba, Doc, minsan, yung ginagamit na palusot. <laughs> <laughs> yun nga ang dating, eh, palusot na yan, eh. So, lalo diba? mabubuntit yung kausap mo. <laughs> Para right, palusot ka right. pa Oh, oh, just a story. Yung iba, yung iba naman, Doc, yung tumatawag naman, like for example, dito sa illustration natin, sinasabi mo, hmm. I was really worried. But sometimes, calling, uh, I, I'm just giving you a real-life scenario, minsan hmm. yung tumatawag, nagdududa, nagche-check, ay paano yun? Hmm. <laughs> ang hirap, no? <laughs> diba? So that means, ang problema nila, um, you have to build trust in the marriage. Let's say, hmm. for me and Hans, uh, lalo na dati, he works in a call center, iba pang gabi yan. So hmm. we already had an agreement na, uh, if he doesn't answer my text or call, that means he's busy. Or uh, yung cell phone nila nasa locker kasi bawal eh. Tapat break time lang pwede tignan. So ganun rin. When he calls me up or when he texts, uh, when I don't answer, uh, ang ibig sabihin lang, may kausap ako, I'm counseling, I'm doing some things. And when I'm doing that, it's always in mute mode. Kasi kundi, nakakabastos naman sa kausap ko. So it's understood. So we don't uh, fight about that. Kasi napag-usapan na na. Parang you just have to wait. Okay, so ibig sabihin kasi because the trust is there. So mm. I don't need uh, technically to keep on checking on him. Mm. So nakakatulong yung parang meron kayong parang prior arrangement or prior guidelines na. Mm. Mm-hmm. And of course yung trust, no? Between yes. each other. Yes, yun nga mahirap pag nasira kasi, dope, eh, no? Oh, you yes. have to earn it back. Mas mahirap i-earn. Pero kayo yes. pa naman, pero mahirap. Tama, Double tama. effort. Oo, tsaka dapat maging sincere ka na after, di ba? Napatawad ka ni. Tama. Diba? Dapat may changes. Yes. yes. Okay. So, ito na. Ah, tingnan mo, ha? Tingnan mo itong babae. Hmm. Mali ito. Sabi niya, you haven't washed the dishes. You snore. And a week ago, you didn't go to my mom's. Siyempre, pag hmm. lahat yan, sinabi mo, mother down yung asawa mo. Or magagalit. Kasi lahat hmm. sinasabi mo, eh. So, we have to pick our battles. Okay? You just choose. Okay? Kasi kundi, sa totoo lang, ang dami-daming pwedeng pag-awayan. So, hmm. isipin mo, ha? If there are uh, 10 things you don't like about your spouse, uh, you cannot ask him to change or her change everything. Kasi mm-hmm. that won't be him or her na eh. So, but mm-hmm. you can uh, choose one and pinaka-pinaka for you na pinaka-importante i-change niya. So, mm-hmm. you stick to the issue. Kunyari lang ha, dito, for him, for her, kunyari, ang pinaka-importante is hindi siya tumulong. Kasi ang dami-dami di siya pa dyan eh. So, maybe, abang muna niya sabihin yung tukod na nag-snore ka, uh, y- di mo pin- sinamab when we visited my mom, you stick to the issue. Okay? Do not bring up past issues na. Kasi kundi, lalong gugulo lahat. Ay, yun. totoo yan. One issue totoo at a time. Yan. Totoo yan. Ang dalas pa naman ganyan. <laughs> Oo nga, totoo yan. Sabi nga nila, we don't get hysterical, we also get historical. <laughs> historical, yes, yes. Historical, you bring yes. up the past, no? Dati, mm. ganito ka, dati. Tapos sabihin ng mm. isang, 
Di ba napag-usapan na natin yan, tapos na yan. <laughs> yes. Pinabalik. O, oh, hindi ba? Tama, Pero kasi, tama. Kasi, Dok, talaga yung tendency, ganun, pag, once na nagagalit ka na, parang nila... Ano ano tawag ba doon, Dok? Ibig sabihin, wala ka talagang parang genuine forgiveness kaya ginagawa mo yun. Totoo ba? Ganun ba yun? Uh, hindi naman. Na-forgive mo siya. Pero syempre, parang siguro, um, na- naungkat ulit or na-, na parang you opened up the wound again eh. So hmm. I think na-forgive naman. But when the other party keep on repeating the same mistake, hmm. sometimes, uh, luma- yun, nagkakaroon ng resentment. Na parang nababalik. Parang ganun. Oo. Kaya nga sabi sa Bible, di ba, sa 1 Corinthians 13, 5, you can check out 1 Corinthians 13, it's all about love. And one of them, it says, love keeps no record of wrong. Ibig sabihin, when you forgive, huwag mo nang sumbatin, na ulit-ulitin, na parang na-forgive mo na eh. So don't bring up past issues. Yes, I totally agree with you dito, Doc, kasi talagang nakakapikon kapag binabalik mo yung, yung past. Hmm. Kasi, like for example, in my case nga, pag binalik yung ganun, parang I, hmm. I ano tawag dito, I try to defend myself all over mm, again. Tama. Diba? Eh, tapos na yun eh. <laughs> yes, tama yun. So, tama. Ako, marami akong kakampi dito, sigurado. <laughs> <laughs> so, ito, ito, ito. Stop Ayan. blaming yourself. Tingnan mo, Tingnan mo. Stop blaming. Siyempre, mm. diba, nasa, mall, uh, nasa supermarket sila, grocery. Nabanggat yes. niya si wife. Ay, ninagalit si wife. Nagmura. Mm. At tapos, balik na rin natin. Siya naman ang nagtutulak. Nabanggat niya si husband. Ang mm. nakakatawa. Ikaw kasi eh, ba't ka nasa harapan ko? Dapat nasa tabi kita. Nakas mo, kahit anong gawin pa ni husband, siya pa rin may mali, kawawa naman siya. <laughs> tama, so, tama. And there are some people who will tell me na ganun ang case na whatever he or she does, hmm. siya parati may mali and siyempre napapagod na rin yung spouse. Yes, tama. So dapat, ang tama is we take, each of us take responsibility for wrongdoing. Like, tingnan mo, ito mag-asawa, yung the first part. It's her hmm. fault. Siya, bad trip siya. It's hmm. his fault. Siyempre, tingnan mo, the way they... Uh, they don't face each other. They're not close anymore. Pero mm-hmm. if you start thinking, ah, it's also my fault. So eventually, I'm sure they would kiss and make up. Mm-hmm. Wag yung, wag yung puro sisi. Minsan, kung ako sa mga kasalanan na rin kahit konti. Mm, or, tama. Or responsibility ka, no? O tama yan, ha? Dapat narinig natin yan. <laughs> <laughs> tama yan. Alam mo, naiisip lang ito kasi pag medyo kalmado na lahat to. Yes. Pero pagkali ka, nako, hindi mo maiisip yan. So, eh, kasalanan niya, kasalanan niya yan. Oh, diba? Yes, kaya nga, uh, we have uh, sessions like this, or you attend mm-hmm. mga, kunyari, couples group, kasi para mm-hmm. hindi pa nag- nag-escalate or wala pang away, alam mo na, ah, dapat next time ito yung gagawin ko. Kung yes. baga, we are proactive. We already mm-hmm. foresee na, there will come a time mag-away kami. So, kunyari, like kami, okay, ang usapan, when we, pag nag, na, when we have a conflict, we don't raise our voice. Okay. Okay. It's better that we also don't talk. Wag muna mag-usap. Pero syempre, misan eh, syempre tao lang tayo, nagkakamali. But generally, uh, thank God naman, we're able to do that. We don't talk first when we're very, very angry. Kasi sasabog talaga yan. Mm-hmm. Hindi kami pa kami ready. We just talk about it when both of us are already calm. So parang ang advice mo dito, give each other space. Parang ganyan. Yes. Well, tapos pag dumating yung point na you're ready to talk, saka na kayo mm-hmm. mag-usap. Tama. Mm-mm. Saka ano, Doc, based on doon sa pinapakita mo kanina, yun nga, na parang you really have to be in touch with yourself as well, no? Mm. Hindi lang yun sa partner mo, pati yung sarili mo, kailangan kilala mo, eh, no? Kung alam mm. mo na malapit ka ng pumotok, <laughs> mm. Totoo iwas ka na, no? Mm-hmm. Huwag, mo, huwag mo pabaya ang talagang umabot ka doon, hindi ba? Yes. So ito pa, marami pa tayo example. Ito, ito, Doc. Tingnan mo, ha? Siyempre, mm. galit na. Tingnan mo, both of them have crowns. Ibig sabihin, gusto nila, sila yung boss. So sabi mm. ng mabae, why should we do things your way? Pero siyempre, ito, galit yung husband. Pero if you say, ah, ganito na lang, para walang away, let's mm. visit your parents this weekend. Tapos, uh, next week, parents ko naman. Pwede? Ayun. Mm. So think win-win. Whenever you, we fight kasi, kaya tayo nagagali. Kasi feeling natin, dehado tayo eh. But if you feel that your spouse also thinks about you, na gusto niya rin na parang, uh, ma-please ka rin, eh, mas hindi ka magagalit. So, let's put each other, uh, parang, put yourself into your spouse's shoes, okay? So, isipin mo, eh, kung parati pupuntahan, eh, kunyari, every weekend, tatay-nanay ko pupuntahan, pa, paano naman yung parents ng husband ko? Din namin pupuntahan, kawawa naman siya. So, then what we can do is we suggest or we can request instead of demanding, ah, uh, can we do this? Oh, di ba? Tapos, I heard from a pastor, he said, di ba, minsan sabi natin, compromise is 50-50, ba? You meet halfway. Pero sabi niya, no. It's, he heard somewhere that think 60-40. What does it mean? It means that on your part, you give 60% mm-hmm. and you only expect 40% pabalik. Imagine mo, sabi niya, if both spouses ganun mag-isip, mas walang problema. 
Kasi pag gusto mo 50-50, tapos pili mo, binigay lang sa akin ng asawa ko 30%, eh, pa ako magbibigay? Pagod-pagod na ako. Yun. Mm-hmm. Pero pag sinabi mo, ah no, basta ako, I'll just give more, maski konti lang yung ma-receive ko, it's okay. Uh, mas, mm-hmm. kumaga, mas lower na expectation ko, mas less away. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, di ba, yung it's better to give than to receive. O, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tama po. O yung puro kakabig. <laughs> yes, yes. But, alam mo, Dok, parang, parang nagiging, parang, it it will come to a certain point na parang nagiging competition yung ano yung marriage na parang i should get more than you or or i deserve yes. more than you ba- bakit umaabot sa ganun yun yun nga eh kasi feeling ko nga parang nagiging business deal na siya na parang dapat hindi ako malamangan uh, yes. i think eventually um minsan we reach that point especially when the romance is no longer there when yung yun na nga parang we don't love each other that much so i hope mm-hmm. that Ayun uh, na nga, like sessions like this, um, they would be, again, be reminded na dapat i, uh, they should nurture that love throughout the years. Right. Para hanggang pagtanda, sila pa rin magkasama. Yes, yes. And, and siguro, if I may add, Doc, uh, it's not just between the couples, no? Kasi maapektuhan yes. din yung mga bata, di ba? Yes, tama. Sila yung pinakakawawa. When oh. couples fight and when couples separate, the victims are always the kids. Yes. Nahirapan yes. sila, yeah. Yes, but syempre, I'm not saying that those who are already uh, separated, uh, walang pag-asa yung kids. No, no. I'm not saying that because there are also a lot of kids, teenagers, who are resilient. Mm-hmm. Kung maga, they make the most of the situation. And I'm not blaming any of you in case you're already in a situation na nag-separate na. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that uh, uh, whoever is wrong, but I'm talking to all the couples right now who are still together na I hope that uh, you can stick it out, you can make it work yun, until you're old. Yun. Tama, tama yun. Okay, ito naman, Dok. Uh, my friends, please, when you're angry, when you're fighting, do not use threats like about divorce. Like, kunyari, galit ka. I think we should get the divorce. Diba? Parang it hurts eh. It hurts the other party na whenever you fight, you bring that out. Or sometimes some people said, sige ka, magpapakamatay ako. Uh, that's also not good. Please do not use threats. Mm-hmm. At ano, kadalasan, pag sinabi mo, sige, wala na tayo. Eh, sa sobrang galit, sabi isa, kailan? Kailan mo gusto? <laughs> <laughs> oh, tapos siya naman magbebeg. Hindi, hindi. I don't mean it. Oh, diba? Yes, yes. Ah, Kaya ito ko, diba? You say words out of anger kasi eh. Tama, tama. So, ito yung tama. Yan. Oo. So, okay. uh, we love each other. So, let's not say anything we might regret in the future. So, uh, never ever mention the word divorce or annulment. Huwag nag-aaway kayo. Mm-hmm. Do not consider that as an option. Yes, yes. Tama yun, tama yun. Ito naman, Dok. Ayan, tingnan mo, nasa public place, ha? Please mm. do not make a scene when you're in public. Like, you've written, diba, sumasigaw na siya, you've written it all. I told you so. Tapos nagwawala, tapos mag-walk out na siya. Mm. My friends, uh, dapat yun. Okay, sabi niya, let's talk about it at home. So, mm-hmm. you can confront each other lovingly. Like, sabi nga sa Bible, we can speak the truth in love. And I'm gonna teach you one um, technique. We called mm. it the sandwich style. Sandwich style, di ba? Pag kumakain tayo ng sandwich, dalawang uh, tinapa, isang uh, nasa gitna yung palaman. So, positive, negative, positive. So, you start with something positive. What you like about your spouse. Okay, like kunyari, na parang, uh, I really uh, love the way na kunyari, you help me with the household chores. Okay, na you're very kind to me, to my family. Oh, basta say mga two to three good things. Positive yan, di ba? Yes. And then, I'm gonna say the negative. Okay. Yung negative, huwag mo sabihin, but, Kasi pag binat mo, lahat ng magandang sinabi mo, na-erase na. So, mm-hmm. sasabi mo, and I would appreciate it if, um, kunyari, ang pinag-awain kasi na late. If you would come on time next. Okay, when we're, whenever we're gonna go out. Okay, mm-hmm. kunyari, yun ang pinaka-issue na pinag-awayan. Tapos ang ending mo, um, but no matter what happens, parang I'm very blessed to have you as my husband or as my wife. So, you start with positive Tapos ito yung, yung nire-request mong baguhin niya. Tapos ito yung positive. Na mahal mo pa rin no matter what happens. And usually, syempre, even though masakit rin na narinig niya na may pagkukulang siya, pero hindi ganun kasakit. Tama, Kaysa tama. minura mo siya, dwineblame mo siya, inaway mo siya, yun. Hmm. Tsaka yung talaga mahirap, Dok, yung sa public kayo nag-away. Naku, tapos pagtitinginan kayo. Naku. Tsaka ngayon, my friend, masa social media ka na. Ayun ah, pa, ayun pa. Oo, oh, oh, napag-post ka. <laughs> <laughs> Lagot ko na, oh, nakakahiya sobra. Oo, oh, oh. nakakahiya talaga. Tsaka nakakainis yung, yung mm. parang, pag, ano tawag doon, tatantrum. Ayan. Yeah. Diba? Yeah, please don't do that. Oo, oh, oh. lalo na in public. Kasi nakakahiya. Not only for your spouse, actually, kunyari, ako yun. Ako rin, ako rin mapapahiya, diba? Yes. Eh, meron pa yan, Dok, yung iba, kung ano pa, ihingi pa ng kakampi sa public. O, oh, diba kayo? Ay, <laughs> <laughs> meron nga. Oh, please do not do that. <laughs> 
Hindi <laughs> ganda. And most of the time, ito yung sinasabi mo kanina, it leads to walk out. Yes. Pag, pag umabot ka sa ganun, iiwan ka talaga ng partner, tas lalo kang magagalit, no? Yes, yes. So, wag kang gagawa ng isang bagay na pwedeng mag, mag ano, we, mm. we led to another problem, bigger problem. Yes, eh. tama po yun. Oo, speaking from his... Huwag <laughs> 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 naman, dami naman. No? <laughs> oh, ito, Dok, ito, Dok. <laughs> okay. Tingnan mo, ha? Okay, you just click on. Kasi nandun ang aking mga cues, my friend. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, my friend, di dapat sabi ko, di ba, talk with each other. Mm. At tingnan mo naman yung first picture. Di ba, mm. parang, hindi, you don't even look at each other. Mm-hmm. Paano kayo mag-uusap? So tapos, kung mag-iisa, nagsasalita, no rolling of eyes, parang turning your back to him. So dapat, yung parang dapat yung next picture na uh, at least magkaharap kayo, you maintain eye contact, please, walang mahahawak ng cellphone, okay? Mm-hmm. Dapat, you just give the full attention to your spouse, makinig. And my friends, ano mga babae, remember, the men cannot read our minds. Kasi uh, this is a, a common problem of women. Kasi women, we are tendency, we are more nurturing. Uh, masanay kami mag-alaga ng tao. So, misan, uh, we emphasize more, mas nagagawa namin. Pero tapos, sabi mo, pati hindi ginagawa na asawa ko sa akin. Men cannot read our, they cannot read minds. Mas hindi sila ganun ka-nurturing. So please, kapag kausap mo yung mga lalaki, say what you mean and mean what you say. Do not, uh, parang kasi misa sabi mo, kanyari, sabi na asawa mo, Ah, gusto mo bang lumabas? Eh, ikaw, napapakipot ka pa. Ah, uh, wag na lang. Eh, syempre sa asaw, ah, wag na lang pala. Sige, wag na, galit ka na kasi gusto mo nga lumabas. Then you just say na, oh, gusto kong lumabas. Oh, di ba? Uh, Tapos na. Yun. Simplihan Tapos mo na, na lang, ganun, di ba? Yes, oo. You just uh, say what you want. Okay? Hmm. Kasi they cannot, kasi ang gusto, gusto, gusto pa ng iba, yun yung para aamuhin pa siya, pipilingkin pa siya, but yes, sometimes yes. some people are not like that eh. Para for them, one is one, two is two. So if you say it's one, then it's one. <laughs> they won't take up in And then, uh, remember girls, uh, especially for the wives, uh, most of the guys, they don't want to talk about issues. That's normal. Okay? It's a man thing. So, uh, so usually, I hope that um, uh, pinatakot sila whenever you say, let's talk. Parang nakakatakot, parang you're being called to the principal's office, di ba? So, natatakot rin sila. So I hope that um, you could be able to... Uh, uh, so, of course, lessen the fights. Kasi pag lessen the fights, then you confronting about the issue, mas konti rin. That means when you guys are together, mas happy yung mga pinag-usapan, okay lang. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes, uh, you just text or you can PM your spouse, okay? Para malabas mo lang yung feelings mo. Okay? Kasi sometimes kasi, it's just that gusto ko lang malaman ng asawa ko, bata ko nagalit. Okay? Mm-hmm. Para ang point is, hindi na natin mauulit. We won't talk or fight about this anymore. Yun. So, okay. Importante, masabi mo rin. And that goes the same for the husband. Kasi for the husbands, a lot of husbands kasi, they don't voice out. Parang a lot of them, they not, hindi sinasanay magsabi. So sometimes, the, the, husband, the wife also doesn't know, bakit sila nagagalit? So mas maganda masabi mo na maganda. And in case yung spouse mo, ay di nag-request ka, di ba, sana mag-improve ka. Sa Tapos pag may konting improvement, then you appreciate you thank them. Now, oh, thank you. I, I, I noticed that um, you have improved in this area. Thank you for helping me around the house. Oh, yung mga ganon. Yes. Tapos yung agree to disagree, no? Mm-mm. Sometimes kasi talaga hindi tayo mag-agree. We can't agree on all issues. The, um, agree to disagree, it means that, okay, uh, in this issue, uh, it's okay. Both of us have different opinions. Huwag na natin pag-awayan. Yun lang. Tama. Ito, ito, ito. Nako, <laughs> importante ito. <laughs> Okay, wag mo na may outside ako lang boy asawa mo pag galit ka. Tama. Okay? Kasi nga, kunyari lang ah, what if kunyari the first look at the next picture. Since you're still sleeping on the same bed, pero syempre kasi galit eh. Syempre magkaibang side. Pero sometimes kasi for other people, let's say in this picture is the guy, uh in generally I'm not saying all, but generally it's very difficult for most guys to say they are sorry. So they say sorry through their action. Like in this picture, siya na nag-hug doon sa wife. Then ibig sabihin, sorry na. Yun, yun na yung sorry niya. Eh pero pag pina, pinaturo mo siya sa sopa o outside of Colombo, ay hindi niya mag- magagawa yan. And um, for the women, please do not withhold sex as a form of punishment. Okay? Because iba yung lalaki sa buhay. Take note ha, this is our, I'm talking about couples, mag-asawa. Okay? I'm not talking about for the singles here. These are for the couples. Men feel loved during love making, while women need to feel love to make love. So iba, iba yung 
if by you making love for the women and for the men. So mm -hmm. we have to understand that. Mm -hmm. Eh, paano yung dok? Ito, napapansin ko rin. Kunwari, nagsimula ng maglambing, tapos, eh, alas ka dyan. Dyan. <laughs> 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 Oo nga eh. Totoo oh. yan. <laughs> Kaya nga, sabi ko nga sa mga wives, uh, they cannot do that very often. Kasi uh, sex is a, it's a need for the guys. It's mm -hmm. even among the Christians, they did that survey, it's a need for the mm -hmm. men. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's how God created them. So, mm -hmm. pero kunyari, uh, so the, the wives cannot keep on rejecting. But, mm -hmm. ang siyempre, sasabihin ko naman sa mga men, uh, you also have to uh, understand that sometimes, you have to know, as why. Kasi may, maybe, malapit na dumating yung menstruation, medyo cranky siya, or maybe, pagod lang ba siya? Get mm -hmm. to know why. Or is it because she doesn't feel love? Kasi if you be able to um, know the reason, then it's easier na for the wife, let's say, to feel love and to make love with the husband. Mm -hmm. Tsaka medyo ano yun, dapat... Uh, maging considerate kasi hindi rin ganun kadali biro mo galing sa away after away mm -hmm. you expect magiging may ano uh, parang Ay, after away loving. definitely no <laughs> after Ay, away yeah. no kasi ha, nagre recover pa yung yung yes. side yes. yes yes pero sa minsan sa mga lalaki hindi eh para alam mo yung parang switch o oh, yeah, yeah. pati tayo ah sige dika na that's a male thing <laughs> for yes, the women tama. no that doesn't work that way yes yes kaya ako binabanggit yung doc para yung mga lalaki alam din na hindi yes. sila yung opposite sex hindi ganun mag-isip o hindi ganun mag-react hindi ba yes kasi yes. minsan sabihin pati na nga ay ayaw mo pa <laughs> away na naman oh totoo yan away na naman oh nga picture why do you keep holding grudges ah stop it leave me alone dapat yung next picture yun ang tama like uh, both of them yung Ah, uh, syempre sometimes you need talaga a, a marriage counselor to help you. Pero at least na sila. And the Bible is as a very good um a uh, saying that sabi niya, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. So in marriage there should be a lot of forgiveness. Okay? Like joining a couples fellowship or a couples Bible study group, having mentors, mga marriage mentors or consulting a counselor that would really help. Right. Okay. So, ito naman, how to prevent fights. Yes. So, hopefully, hindi na kayo nag-ano, parang ma-prevent natin. Actually, we can, okay? okay. Let's go to the next slide, my friend. Ayan. Okay. I hope that uh, we won't endure our, uh, parang enjoy. Yung feeling mo like the first picture na parang nakakadena ka. Parang mm -hmm. just like the next picture, yung, wow, pagtanda nila, they are still in love with each other. We enjoy. We enjoy our husband or our wife. Because, yeah. alam mo ba, based on statistics, people who are happily married, they live longer and healthier lives. It's not, I'm not saying the singles won't be happier, no. But this is in comparison to people who have been separated, divorced, or they're unhappily married. Mm -hmm. And one thing that would help prevent fights is making God the center of your marriage. Because with God in the picture, talagang uh, very strong, mas strong ang foundation. Yes. Still not perfect marriage, but stronger. And syempre, you can uh, pray together, or, uh, go to church together, you can serve God together. Yon. And syempre, parang what we can do is we can glorify God by serving Him and helping our spouse realize his, his or her God-given potential. Yon. We can kumbaga, make Him the best version of Himself or Herself. Yes. Tama yun. Ito, ito. Ayan. So syempre, parang parating sinasabi ng mga tao kasi nakiwalay kami kasi ano, incompatibility or irreconcilable differences. But actually... Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as irrecon for me. Ah, I'm sorry to say, there's no such thing as irreconcilable differences. Kasi kaya naman eh, kaya natin pag-usapan. We can still work it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we have to be able to accept and appreciate each other's differences. Yun yun lang yun. Ma accept natin na ah, itong asawa ko may strength, may weakness rin. Pero I better focus on the strengths, not on the weakness. Tama tama. And it also helps if we lower our expectations. Kasi nga, pag sobrang mataas yung expectation, ikaw lang nalulungkot. Saka kawawa naman yung asawa mo na parang parati they have to live up to our standards. Eh di ba love should be unconditional nga eh. Yes. E, tapos minsan pa, Dok, yung, ano, yung husband pa yung nagbibigay ng ano, expectation. Siya yung nag-i-impose. Oh. Yes. <laughs> kawawa naman yung wife. Kunyar, sabi sa sa wife, gusto ko parati kang 110 pounds lang. Hmm. <laughs> di ba, ang hirap, di ba? Parang hirap. <laughs> ang hirap na, na kapag nakatatlong anak ka na, syempre tumataba. It's very natural for girls to gain weight after giving birth. Hmm. So that would be very difficult. Pero syempre, kunyari, for health purposes, the wife can also, of course, uh, diet and everything. Pero iba yung, you're dieting because of health, not because na, 
And of course, because you love the husband, but not because he has certain expectation na sasabihin niya, hihiwalayin kita pag ano, hindi ka pumaya. At syempre, iba yung dating. Yes, tama, tama. Pinipilit mo na. Iba na. Hmm. Oh, ito naman. And syempre, if you're gonna compare your spouse to other people, uh, parating there will always be na matatalo husband mo or wife mo eh. But you compare it with people na lang na mas grabe. Okay? Parang, hmm. okay pa pala. Okay na yung asawa ko, mabait na pala siya. Okay, compare sa yung mga nababasa natin sa news, di ba? And focus uh, 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 on their positive qualities. Marami naman yan. Mm, saka better not to compare, di ba? Yes, tama okay. yan. Di ba? Yes, pero kasi pag nagagalit ka, tendency they compare. Bakit? Oh. Sana, sana na pangasawa ko na lang, kunyari, ah, sinusikat na artista, yung mga ganun. O kaya, yun o. Buti pa si paring ganito, yung asawa. Yes, yun. <laughs> yes. Nasasabi. Pag galit na tayo, yun ang nasasabi natin. Oo, And remember, ka, the only... Mm, tama ko nga, no? yun, magagalit na sa'yo. Saka kasi, the only person you can change is yourself. Sabi yes. yun lang natin, yun lang naman si change natin. I cannot change my husband, I cannot change any person, but I can only change myself. Right, right, right. Tama. Pero syempre, we can request naman our spouse to to change an annoying habit. Diba? Mm-hmm. Kunyan, may mga habits siya na medyo bad trip ka, pwede kang mag-request. Take nota, request. Pero kung hindi siya magbabago o nahihirapan magbago, syempre we have to still love that love uh, our spouse. Right, right. And syempre, the best influence is modeling. Huwag ka na sermon ng sermon, dadakdak na ka ng dakdak, walang kwenta. Then, mm-hmm. we just model it. Like, gusto mo na, sana mas caring siya. Di ikaw na lang mag-show muna ng care. Like kanina, yung binigay mo example, na kalim- ang gusto mong uh, na- maalala parati ng wife mo ang anniversary. So, you just mm-hmm. model. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Siyempre, medyo makukonsensya siya. O, oh. di ba? Parang, ay, Buti pa ito asawa ko, hindi ako pinagalitan, nakalimutan. Sige, I better mark it down to the calendar. Para next year, hindi ko siya makalimutan. Mm-hmm. Tapos, Dok, alam mo, meron akong nabasa, no, na it, it, mm-hmm. ano, ina-advise na, like, for example, in a month or let's say in a week, no, na meron kayong parang one day daw na schedule na parang parang meeting lang, parang usap lang, parang you reflect on what happened to the entire week, no? Para yeah. yung constant communication, hindi yung parang pag nag lang, saka kayo nag-uusap. Advisable yes. Uh, maganda yan. Actually, every couple should have what we call a date night. Take Ayun. note, wala kasama mga kids. Yung yes. mga kids mo, kunyari, uh, di magpa-babysitter ka, magpa- uh, then, or you ask uh, somebody, a good friend, or pinsan, whoever to take care of the kids. Tapos kayong dalawa, you have to have um, na, uh, bonding time na wherein you can talk, na hindi kayo nag-aaway. Kasi kung every time you you talk, nag-aaway kayo, uh, then, syempre, next time, Ayaw ka nang kausapin ang asawa mo kasi natakaw siya, baka awayin, awayin mo na naman siya. So that's true. To rekindle the love, uh, you guys uh, should spend time together as a couple. Tapos yes. kunyari, during anniversaries, minsan nakakalungkot. Like I've, sometimes you will hear your people na they don't even um, celebrate their anniversary, they don't even celebrate their birthdays or special occasions. Sayang. Kaya nga, why do we celebrate anniversaries? Kasi it's a remembrance na, oh, I got married to this person. Para I'm thankful na we've been we've went this far something to that effect. So mm-hmm. tama yung sinabi mo. Date nights are very important. At least yes. one it, kung kaya once a week. For sure, pag week. sobrang liit pa ng baby, uh, what some couples would do is they have uh, let's say uh, kunyari sobrang talagang sobrang busy with all the kids and the work, but they make it a point that every day, let's say uh, after the kids went to bed, they have 15 minutes to talk things over, to chat lang, to oh kamusta yung day mo? Yung ganun lang. Pwede rin 'yon. Pero syempre, kung kaya na, medyo malaki na si Kid, pwede nang ipaiwan, ah, maganda rin mag-date. Or mm-hmm. mag-get away. Yung parang, let's say, over the weekend man lang, yun. Short trips na kayong dalawa lang. It's also yes. important. Tsaka yun nga, Doc, it doesn't have to be expensive. no It's really quality yes. time together. Tama. Diba? Yes, yes. Kahit kape-kape lang, okay na yan. <laughs> Tama. Tama yan. ba diba? Okay. Ito naman, Doc. Yan. yan. Hmm. Uh, ito. Yes. Ayan. Wow. So to, uh, that picture, uh, we took this picture when we went to Taiwan, okay, last January. Buti na lang, nakaabot kami before the lockdown. Oh. So we have to prevent fights, we have to deposit into our spouse's love bank, okay? Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, whatever you do out of love, nagdi-deposit ka like uh, uh, you prepare breakfast, you help him or her, okay, you hug him or her, yan. We keep on depositing love bank. Kasi pag nag-away na tayo, withdrawal yun. Okay, para may withdraw ka. Ang problema, kung wala kang dinideposit, withdraw ka ng withdraw, mababangkrap. So that's the time na sabihin na asawa mo, maghiwalay na tayo, hindi ko na talaga kaya. Yun. Mm-hmm. Pero pag marami kang dinideposit sa love bank nila, maski mag-away, ayan na din, may namamainos, pero syempre, babawiin mo next time. Mag-deposit ka ng deposit. Mm-hmm. 
So here are some tips on how to deposit into our spouse's love bank, like spending time with them. Like sabi mo nga, eating meals together. Okay, so my friends, please, kapag kumakain tayo, let's say, normally we... Of course, during this lockdown, we spend more time together. No choice. Pero when we when we start going out to work, normally we can only eat together one meal a day. That's dinner or, or breakfast. Depends pa sa family. Please, during meal times, no cell phone. Walang maglalaro, walang magtetext. So that's a time that we can talk. Okay, doing things together also help. Okay, uh, just like uh, click on my friend. We do things together. Go yun. Ito yun. Go out on dates. Travel together. Yun. Nakain yes. dalawa lang. So, pero like this time, it's with my parents. Ayan. Mm -hmm. So, ito, uh, this is a picture of my relatives. Okay? So, mm -hmm. when we went to Taiwan this year, we also meet up with my uh, my mom's relatives who flew all the way from U.S., from Canada. So, mm -hmm. let's say... I'm Para there, reunion. So or reunion siya. And it's also in celebration of my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. Ah, yes, so, yes, yes. So, wouldn't we also tell them that, uh, of course, we love them. Okay, kuma verbally, we have to tell them. Then, mm -hmm. remembering important dates, greeting them in person or in FB. Like, ako, I don't always post, um, let's say, something about my husband, okay? But during special occasions, I do, okay? Then we also make it special. He also makes it special for me. He gives me gifts. So it works both ways, okay? Kasi pag isa lang parati nagigive, nakakapagod, di ba? If you the other you just keeps on taking. So marriage is always give and take. And then we need to keep the romance and the excitement alive. That's why you have to have some variety, okay? Ikaw na mag-iisip. Whatever variety, like learning a new hobby together. Like guess what? Like sabi mo, it doesn't need to be expensive, eh? mm -hmm. Or like joining a class, an online class together. Then the mo another important way we can deposit into our uh, spouse's love bank, we support him or her in any way we can. Let's say for this video, uh, my husband supports me. Kawawa siya. Kasi gagawa ng mga lighting, okay? She has to listen to all the time. Kaya siguro samang sawa na siya, naka ilang beses na siya. Okay? So he has to support me. But I also support him. Kung kunyari, when he needs something, then I try also to help him. And syempre, my friends, ano yung mga tumatanda na, please take care of your spouse when they are already old. Or syempre, like, ano, nagkakasakit rin tayo. Let's take care of each other. Okay? Huwag na yung, ah, nagkasakit siya, tapos iwan ko na siya. Maghanap na ako ng iba. Huwag naman. Ay, naku. Meron akong kilalang ganyan, Dok. Naku, kawawa talaga. Oo nga. Nagkasakit ang iwan. Yes. Please ask your spouse before making important decisions. Shape di lahat ng decision. Like I make my own decisions. Hans makes his own decision. But when it comes to important decisions, we have to ask. Okay, we have to ask. Lalo na kung yare mas malaking amount yung gusto mong kastusin. Ah, magusap tayo. Kasi kung di matutil na other spouse na parang na babay pas mo ba siya? And it hurts. Yeah, respect yun, respect, di ba? Yes. Yes. And please, do not jump into the conclusion. Uh, uh, always give your spouse the benefit of the doubt. Like example, nalay siya umuwi. Huwag mo isipin, hala, baka may ibang babae, may ibang lalaki ng asawa ko. Or <laughs> parang, kunyari, naka, may pinagawa ka, nakalimutan. Huwag, mo, huwag ka magkagalit ka. Gat, sabihin mo, taman-taman ng asawa ko. Ganun ba? Sabihin mo, ay, baka busy siya today, kaya nakalimutan lang. So you always think on the positive, uh, on the positive uh, path, okay? Positive way. Okay. Yeah, you just move on. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the last picture, yan, last na yan, is to love each other's family. Yung kanina, puro, ano, picture ng mga family ko, di ba? This mm. time, ito, a picture ng, ano, pamilya naman ni Hans. So we have to mm. love each other's family. That's also how we deposit into each other's love bank. So kung mm. sila may occasion, punta rin kami. Pag ako naman may occasion, pamilya ko naman, punta rin siya sa amin. Yes. Ayun. Tsaka tal talagang parang you try to have a relationship with both, no? Yes. Immediate family, tapos yung family naman ng asawa mo. Kailangan mag-ano ka, mag-develop ka ng relationship na yun, di ba? Pero ang hirap din gawin yan, Dok, kasi di ba, kadalasan may problema sa in-laws. Oo nga eh. But siyempre, we try to improve. Kasi sayang eh, parang, kaya when you're about to get married, remember that you don't only marry your husband or your wife eh. You marry, technically, their families. Parang hindi mo maipit yung asawa mo. You also learn to love his or her family. Uh, siguro alam mo doc in one of our episodes na pag-usapan natin dealing with in-laws <laughs> ayan <laughs> yes diba? so ito yan. yung ating parang uh, summary no mm. oo so yan why couples fight how to fight fairly and how to prevent fights diba yan yes. ang pinakamaganda if you can mm -hmm. prevent it diba i-prevent na lang natin but sabi nga natin kanina imposible naman so it's how you manage or handle it diba doc yes. Yes. Tama. So, yun, bago kita 
bago tayo magtapos, siyempre, eh, sa, uh, announce natin to, no? Uh, you, uh, si Doc AJ, kaya AJ at si Janet, no? Eh, may bago siyang uh, YouTube uh, channel at Facebook page. Ito yung adjusting. Yung may basa, adjusting or adjusting. <laughs> Oo, dapat adjusting. AJ, ayag. Eh, yes. Hindi ko rin alam. <laughs> tama yan, tama. Adjusting your heart with Doc AJ Chua. So, if let's say, for example, medyo uh, hindi kayo, parang nabitin kayo sa usapan namin ngayon, ano, you can always visit her site, YouTube channel niya or Facebook channel niya, and you will see yung mas comprehensive no, na uh, may mga exercises dun. Actually, pinapanood ko yun, uh, Doc, no, para siyempre matuto oh, din ako. Thank you. Oh, it's free. You can go there. So you just visit yung YouTube channel niya at yung Facebook channel niya. So yun, Doc. Nako. Ay, nako. Magpapasalamat na ako sa'yo sa time na binigay mo. Thank you. I'm sure maraming natutunan yung ating mga mga viewers. But before I let you go, final thoughts, Doc. Anong gusto mong sabihin sa mga viewers natin? Final okay. advice. No matter what happens, I hope that uh, you could work things out with your spouse uh, always remember that uh, there's no perfect marriage, but we can work it out. Important. And then you ask, uh, we all, all of us, let's draw strength from God. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I exactly. hope that uh, this uh, interview will give you a lot of tics, tips on how to handle conflicts. Mm -hmm. so, uh, remember the reason why you got married is because mm -hmm. of love. Diba? Tama. So, sabi nga nila, let the love continue bur ano? burning. Parang <laughs> yes. Tama <laughs> yan. Wala. Yes. Kadalasan ganun ni. So, mm -hmm. yan, pag-uusapan din natin kung siguro how to keep yung love no, na nandyan, hindi ba? Para, mm -hmm. para mas maging maganda yung, uh, at maging masaya yung pagsasama, lalo na ngayon sa, sa pandemic. Ako, mm -hmm. at, at, ano ba yan? Pressure pag nag-away pa. <laughs> Oo <ba>? nga. <laughs> o yun. So, Doc AJ, Doc Janet, maraming salamat. At si Janet, maraming salamat sa yung time. Yeah. Thank and, you, Rinfar uh, Jerry, and all the viewers. Thank you. Yes, and uh, we hope we can invite you again. And regards to your family, kay Sir Hans, thank you sa pag-help, sa pag-set uh, up. No? And of course, to your family, happy 50th anniversary also. <laughs> so mm -hmm. stay safe, stay safe, uh, Doc AJ, and uh, God bless you. Okay? Okay. So yan po, no? nakasama natin po si... Dr. Janet uh, Yuchua or Doc AJ at uh, binigyan nga niya tayo ng mga tips no, kung paano nga natin i-handle yung mga conflicts natin. Now, bago tayo tuluyang magpaalam, syempre wag po natin kalimutan. Uh, Ephesians 4.2.3 sabi, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood for more of JLo's uh, webisodes. All you have to do is go to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, Jerry Liao Online. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panunod. Stay safe everyone. God bless.